all day. Oh my God, he is gonna be so mad. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> Check her pants later. Billy, are you cheating on me? Good morning, it's Thursday. You're not rid of me quite yet. I leave tomorrow, uh, but there's a new boss in town and her name is Jess. And today I'm going to be training her how to do all the chores when I'm gone. She knows how to do 90% of everything, but uh, there's a few things I need to teach her. I need to make a new feed sheet because the feed's gonna change a little bit when I'm gone. There's just a few odds and sods that I need to work with her a little bit um, just so she's comfortable when I'm gone. Part of the reason Lauren's staying with us too is just so uh, Jess isn't here all by herself for safety and for being in the house and uh, just taking care of the whole farmstead. Uh, that's a lot for a 17 year old. And Monty's around, my in-laws are just down the road, so she's got a full, a full army of people that are willing and able to help her out. And even I've had neighbors call, Jeff, my neighbor called me, texted me last night, and he just said, if Jess needs me, I'm just a phone call away. So I have a ton of numbers that's going to be in Jess's uh, phone by tomorrow. Anyway, let's follow her around and you'll be able to see Jess become a sheep farmer, which I know was a life goal of hers. You're not going far enough. Put it all the way in. Put it all the way in. No, you're not giving it. Dude, I can only go Yeah, so you hard. can. Yeah, you can. I know you can. That's how you taught me to do it. No, you have to give it up.
just love watching them line up. I don't get to see this uh, only when I edit, so this is this is super fun doing doing this and watching it happen. I feel like I'm already on holidays. Guess what she's feeding up there. I want to show you the mess I made of this field and I know I know darn well my husband is not going to be impressed and I tried to come out here this morning while it's frozen to kind of uh, try to clean it up but now it's too frozen and it won't it won't clean up you ready for this brace yourself okay if you remember yesterday this was just nicely frozen and no big deal but this is what I was afraid of. It started to melt and only one way in and one way out means we carved hard. Now this is just, there's nothing planted right around here, around where the bin construction was and we hadn't even planted grass or anything here yet. So it's not a big deal. We'll have to clean it up in the spring, but oh my God, like this is the worst. It's been frozen for weeks and I picked the one day that I had to get it done and oh my god he is gonna be so mad he's gonna watch this and likely buy me another flight home I'm sorry Mark All done? Yeah. How is it? Ten. Wow. Not bad. Not really. Do you like your Cody Kremlin hat? Yeah. All right. Go to the other barn. I'm gonna have to go to school. And then you have to go to school. Are you getting tired? Two a.m. kicking you? Mm-hmm. I guess we'll take this over. I'll teach you how to put on the fork. So, come here. Lift up those locks upwards. Okay. And then the forks are over there. So just dump the bucket here. There. at the other barn okay so turn on the flex again and then turn that on see if it's the other yeah it does oh okay all right hi Billy I have to say goodbye to my boy I have to say goodbye to my boy come here come here oh he's like I don't know who to love hi oh you're gonna love her oh that's nice you suck. Billy, are you cheating on me? Hey, are you buddy. cheating on me? You know I'm leaving. Oh well, I guess he's in good hands. You're cute too. 
So this barn is, uh, there wasn't too many chores. We just pushed up hay, cleaned out the feeder lips, um, and I think tomorrow morning I'm gonna bed up entirely, like hardcore, and then put all new bales in here for Jess. So I'll have to put a few more hay bales and straw bales so it lasts her for the whole time I'm gone. Those chores were easy, eh? What? Those chores were easy? Yeah. You a sheep boss? Huh? Are you a sheep boss? Sheep? Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Let's go uh, get those bales. It's a tight squeeze in here. Well, that was an epic conclusion. Thank you. You think you got it figured out? It's actually not that bad. No. I might have a few bales of yours that are a little... Yeah. A little drunk. That's okay. Off to school? Think you'll be able to do all that in a couple hours every day? I made a heck of a mess with my telehandler. Like, it's brutal. And my windshield wipers are because I forgot to get him to look at my windshield wipers. So I'm going to take a couple seconds and power wash it for Jess. I just don't want, uh, when the sun hits that windshield, it's blinding and you can't see because I polluted it with mud. really don't make these very wash friendly. 
I, fi I find you get one half kind of washed off, you go to the other side, and then this side becomes really polluted again. So it took, it took a while, but she's a beaut. I have a few more office details to take care of. I have to do payroll before I leave. And the other thing I have to do is change my feed sheet for Jess because there may be a change. I have to watch those close-up views. They're due April 6th and I should probably start feeding that two to four weeks before they start lambing. I'm home two weeks before they start lambing, but I don't know if that's enough time. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to play that by year, but at least if it's printed out, then at least Jess can have it and I can make up my mind kind of on the fly. Okay, so I got my sheets made up. Um, this is now, this is, I changed around the pens yesterday, so this is for Jess right now. And then I've decided not this coming week, but the week after, so the week of March break here, um, I'm gonna write a note for Carissa. I'm gonna put these up here on the clipboard um, and then she'll know that Monday, uh, I believe the 16th of March, um, is when I'd like this one to start. So I'm going to take these out and put one, I usually print off two copies, one goes in the telehandler, one goes on the clipboard by the feed, uh, by the TMR machine, and then we are set. I just remembered there's one more thing I have to do while I'm thinking about it before I go away, and that is to somehow adjust my curtain so my rain sensor shows because if we get a big rainstorm in here I don't want Jess or Carissa to have to clean up hours worth of water in here so come with me and see if we can figure this out my rain sensor is right here which is awesome uh, but I think that curtain or the tarp because it's not trimmed back it uh, shelters that but I don't know how I'm not sure how I'm gonna flip this. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, unless I put these guys, if I tilt this out here, this way maybe, will that be too sensitive? We'll try that. Okay, I just, I just moved it out this way a little bit, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking it'll be okay. I'll try that. Okay. I think I'm kind of caught up, which is a weird feeling. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something, but the sheep are happy and quiet. And I guess that's the most important thing, right? I just have a few things to do across the road tomorrow to get fully prepared. I haven't even started packing. I should probably do that. But I think, I think everything is good here so I can go away.